Hi again then guys and welcome to episode 30 of Dark or Does Anyone Really Care? The mini review series where we're just doing a quick evaluation of certain cars which are seemingly for the most part underappreciated by the majority of Gran Turismo 6 users. These cars are rarely used for racing, drag, drift, cruising, anything really and for the most part they are deserving of your consideration. So in this episode we're featuring a very very rarely used car, uh, kind of a domestic market vehicle, nothing seemingly that special about the car. It's the Toyota Will VS. It's uh, an interesting looking car, it's a front wheel drive hatchback, around 160 horsepower stock. And interestingly, the design of the car was influenced by a stealth fighter. So I guess you could consider this as being a, a hatchback version of the Lamborghini Reventon. <laughs> well, not quite, because it's a front-wheel drive, 160 horsepower Toyota. But, fully tuned, it does put out 341 brake horsepower, which is pretty good for a front-wheel drive hatch, especially a newer model hatch. Some of the newer hot hatches, or not hot hatches, but some of the newer hatchbacks don't have that great power when they're tuned. But this one's pretty good, 341 horses. It weighs in at a surprisingly light 996 kilos with the full weight loss package. So it weighs less than one ton. So it's a lot lighter than it looks. As we said, it's front wheel drive and brand new, it costs 20,000 credits. So it's pretty cheap as well for a relatively new car. The PP that it sits at, fully tuned, is 485, which I would say is pretty good for this car. That's quite a reasonable level for it to be at. Many of the cars on this game are higher in PP than I think they really should be. Obviously that's just my opinion, but many of them aren't as competitive at that PP as its PP would suggest. But for 485 PP, this car is actually pretty good. It handles very well for a front-wheel drive car. The handling's nice and light and uh, quite responsive, which can be an issue sometimes with some front-wheel drive cars. The handling can be quite heavy when you get up to a decent speed, but with this car, that's not the case. On this track, it handles really, really well, and typically front-wheel drive cars aren't that great on long, high-speed sweeping corners because that's when their understeer tends to kick in. But this car doesn't do that. It's, it's really good. The handling is really good on this track. Now, I haven't used it on a wide range of tracks, and I haven't used it in racing either, but I think for both of those areas, it will be at least pretty competitive. I'm not saying it will win everything, but it certainly has the potential to be a highly usable and highly competitive car. Hot hatch-wise... What would its main rivals be? I guess its main rivals would probably include stuff like the Golf GTI. It's not really on the same level as cars like the R32 and the Focus ST. But as long as you put it up against cars which are not top level, it should do pretty well. And I should imagine actually that this car would be quite good on tracks like the Nuremberg Ring or Sierra. Because like I said, the handling is very loose in a good way. Uh, the turning is great on it. And the lack of weight means that you can just throw it through corners at much higher speeds than you'd ever expect to be able to throw a car of its size, because it's definitely not a small car. Um, you definitely wouldn't expect to be able to throw it into corners as well as you can. So that's it for this review. I would definitely recommend trying this car if you've never driven it before. I feel like probably a lot of people haven't tried this car before. Like I said at the start of the video, it is one of the most obscure hatchbacks on GT6. I don't personally think I've ever seen anyone use it. I don't think I've ever even seen the computer use it for their AI cars. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend you give it a try. It's an interesting looking car and certainly has tons of potential. So that's it for this review. I'll see you next time. And as always, thanks for watching.